thing here. This is something that's obviously very dear to me. Obviously, I'm getting older, but it's something that I've done my whole life, you know, being an athlete and continuing on, is made sure my body had all the structural components it needs to be the best it could be within whatever genetic makeup I had. And, uh, you know, that helps to give you all the right materials for every day of recovery. Because I think what people, you know, we have the saying for athletes that your next workout's only as good as your recovery from the last. And everybody gets that, which is why, of course, you know, all athletes supplement before and after workouts and so forth to make sure that they can recover better but and get everything else they need. But also, it's the same thing for every human being. Every day is only as good as your recovery from the last because your cell, trillions of cells are replacing themselves all the time. And of course, it uses vitamin minerals to do this and other structural components. We are what we eat, and there's no arguing that. You know, everything comes from our environment. So the idea is how do you put that all together to continue to age healthy, you know, stave off some of all those maladies that come with aging. And these are all things that we didn't have control over 100 years ago. You know, but over the last 30, 20, 30 to 50 years, we now have control over being able to supplement our body with things that we can use to be able to work synergistically with the foods we eat in order to continue to replace ourselves in a much better fashion than if we didn't have all the materials that we need. So let's just get started with this whole thing. I always like to talk, remind people that when you think of sports nutrition, when you look at all your top scientists in the world today, and of course that's not me, but if you talk to top scientists in the world, they consider sports nutrition as really the new healthy aging. You guys have all seen that with my play span slides and so forth. But I'm gonna kind of go through that right now and just show you how it all lines up. And I wanna set a backdrop first, okay? Because our, our goal is to get our place ban or, how, or the things that are important to us, right? The things that are important to us equal to our lifespan. And our place, so lifespan's how long you live. Health span, which was coined by doctors back in the 70s when people started living longer but not better, <laughs> living worse, we're just keeping them alive. Uh, is how long you're healthy and functional and disease-free period of life. That's what that stands for. But I came up with the phrase play span. And that's how long you're physically and mentally able to do the activities that are important to you. Whatever you're doing today, you want to be able to do to the day you die somehow. You won't do it as well. There's no question about it. No one's arguing that. But you want to be able to do some form of it. We don't want someone carrying you around for the last 20 years of your life. 